Urban Therapy with Sun, Sun7521, this is your daily go get number 843 for January 23rd, 2017. Tonight I want to talk to y'all about making a deal with the devil. Making a deal with the devil. Do you know what it is? Have you ever done it? Do you understand what it means? When you make a deal with the devil, basically you you do business or 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 involve yourself with somebody who either deals in unscrupulous business practices or in their personal life they act in unscrupulous ways so they take chances they do things that are unorthodox they don't follow rules they break rules they go against the grain they they throw conventionality to to the side and sometimes that can be a good thing but if you are dealing with somebody who is a lawbreaker and you're a law abiding citizen or you know, forget about the word law, law breaking or law abiding. Let's just say that you're a straight shooter. You know, your moral, your moral code is up to, up to par, it's up to speed. You don't mess around. You believe in loyalty. You're a good dude. You're a good woman or whatever. You believe in, in cementing friendships and doing whatever is necessary in order to, to keep it that way. So if you make a deal with the devil, more than likely you, you deal, you do business with, with, somebody who is unscrupulous because you're either needy or because you're greedy now i think we pretty under, pretty much understand what what i mean when you when i say that you're needy but let me explain the greedy part sometimes we want a little bit more than what we have sometimes we figure if we do something that even though we're not sinister in our interests or in our pursuits we figure that we can take some of this dirty money, this blood money, and we can make it good. So when we deal with somebody, when we deal with somebody who we know isn't 100%, they don't keep it on a the level, they, they, their integrity is a little bit intact. We figure, well, even though I probably shouldn't be doing business with this cat, we, I can, if I only deal with them on a limited level or maybe even just a one-time level, then maybe I can make something happen and, and take the money and do some good with it. All right, your intentions sound great, but one thing about dealing with the devil is that it's hard to deal with the devil only one time. The devil is very attractive. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you know, my religious folks, my, my spiritual folks, don't, probably don't like the sound of that. But think about it: things that 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 deal in the devil are normally prettier, more handsome, more, uh, you know, they shine more. They 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 make you take chances. They, their influence over you is 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 greater than than doing the right thing plenty of times because you figure all I gotta do is do it once and if I get away with it this one time I'll be all right and that's how the devil wins a lot of time he convinces you that it's gonna be all right. A lot of people have been dealing with the devil. Let's say the devil being Donald Trump. A lot uh, a few of our celebrities, our black celebrities, have dealt business with Donald Trump and now they're feeling the backlash. How long would that backlash last? Who knows. But right now they're in a little bit of hot water. They got cut. They got a check cut, and that's good for them. But will that money be suffice to take them over the hump in the long run? Will it all be worth it in the long run? Only time will tell with that. But you look at Kanye West. You look at Jim Brown. You look at Chrisette Michelle, and you look at at Steve Harvey. Many of their fans are not messing with them right now. They ain't trying to hear nothing they have to say. They're not dealing with them. Even, even with Chrisette Michelle, she lost endorsements by Netflix and also with, with Spike Lee. So it's even like if you don't believe that, that dealing with the devil, well, if you don't believe that dealing with, with Donald Trump is making a deal with the devil, it's not even just a black thing. White people ain't messing with other white people that's messing with Donald Trump. Now, of course, somebody likes this devil. Somebody must like him because he got elected and, and people. some people are still cheering him on and supporting him. All right, I'm not here to make any judgments about that. I'm going to just say this, though. When you're dealing with somebody like Donald Trump, who is as unpopular as he is openly by a lot of people, somebody who just by becoming president of the United States has garnered this this much controversy this much this much um this these many protests and and and, and things like that like yo 
Yeah, it's something to this. This is crazy. So you would think that a person would try to stay clear of anything dealing with him because you would have to make so many concessions in order to do it and you would have to make apologies and you would have to give explanations and sometimes that's not just what that's just not what a person wants to do so you know that kind of explains the greedy part of it in part you know like when you're greedy like I said you try to get a little bit more to make good out of something it's sort of like when we used to see the three car molly guys the three card Molly guys actually, you know, did you know the the, the actual term for three card Molly is three card Monty? Well, we don't say that. But so but but y'all know what three card Molly is. So when you see the three card Molly guys on on a train or on the streets or on a bus or something like that, or the shell game guys, which is basically another version of three card Molly, when you see them, you know, because we, we get greedy at the time, we think that we can beat them at their own game, but we can't beat them at their own game. They know their own game. They know what time it is. And they're going to win. But because we think that our eyes are quicker than their hands, and we think that our brains are superior to their brains, we think that we can beat them at something that they do for a living. But that's almost like jumping in a ring with an experienced boxer. And because you're a good street fighter, you think you're going to win. It's a whole different ball game. It doesn't work the same. So when you make a deal with the devil... There's so many different ways that you can do this, and, and dealing with the devil may serve your interest for the moment, but down the line, it can have dire consequences. It can get you into a lot of trouble. Payday loans, car title loans, loan sharks. These are times when we're needy, not greedy. We're just needy. And I say that we have to be needy in order to, to borrow money from those, from those services because if we were just greedy, we would find a, another way to get some money. But we need to borrow some money. And more than likely, it's because we have some bills that we need to pay. We have to stop our car from being repossessed or pay our, our rent or our mortgage or something like that. You're in a, in a bad spot, a tight spot, a compromised position. So you go ahead and make a deal with the devil with these, these payday loan places. And the interest rate is so high, and you'll just be paying forever and forever on this little bit of money that was loaned to you. It's really unfair, and that's why that's why many of those payday loan places are outlawed in many states, like in the state of Pennsylvania where I live at. Payday loans, payday loan places are prohibited, but people still get around them. You can still get payday loans online, and then there might be some some payday loan places on the low that don't advertise themselves as payday loan places, but it's the same concept. So we gotta watch out. We gotta be careful. You know, watch out for your need. Watch out for your greed. Which incidentally is going to be the topic of discussion tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna get it popping. Good things happen to those who wait. Great things happen to those who grind, and anything can happen to those who go for theirs. So go hard, go for yours, and remember, when you talk about making a deal with the devil, you're talking about dealing with somebody who who tends to their business in unscrupulous ways, or or has or who has their their personal practices that are unscrupulous. And you can get caught up messing with these types of, of folks. And it can get you in a lot of trouble. So it's probably best to stay clear of those things and those people in order to keep yourself from having to be stressed out. And It's just not a good look. Making a deal with the devil, you got to pay the devil off. But if you never associate yourself with the devil, you'll be all right. I know it's not as easy as it sounds, but hey, we got to do what we got to do. The Daily go get show shows every single day, 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Call in number 319-527-6199. Listen to the Daily go get show online, blogtalkradio.com forward slash sun752. Peace. Y'all have a good night.